Most of my videos are covering fake gurus who have already reached the major leagues. Today we're going to get a sneak peek at an up and coming fake guru trying to make his way up the ranks. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to Guapgeta. Baby. Guapgeta. Hey. This is Jacob who turns into Guapgeta when the camera lights get bright. So as I said earlier today guys, we made a thousand dollars yesterday, but I don't really need the thousand dollars because I'm guap get a, I collect way too much guap, so here's some money for some people at the Hard Rock Hotel. Our room here is beautiful. Young guap get a has reached a point where $1,000 is nothing to him. That's when you know you've reached level two of being a fake guru. When you can afford fake cash on Amazon to throw around on your hotel rooftop, you know level three of fake guru is within reach. Even though he's earning a thousand dollars per day, young guap kidda hasn't been able to jump up to level three where he rents the Lambo for a day. He's still driving his Hondo that's wrapped with his guap kidda branding. The detailed wrap on his car was more than his net worth, but that's okay because he's focused on the future. Being a fake guru pays well, so the money will all come back to him in the long run. If this is the wrap he has on a Honda, wait until he can afford a Dodge Charger. $100? Let me pick up this money. Rent's due in a couple weeks. Guapgeta seems to be a little reckless with the few hundred dollar bills he has. If he were to lose that money, the stack of bills he uses in every video would be a little smaller. And it is a beautiful day. And what do we see? We got the Algavision sports betting wagers for today. We got the NBA Moneyline Washington Wizards and the college basketball Frenzo State. We're going to win both games tonight. Young Guap Gitta here is an uncertified self-proclaimed professional sports better, and he hasn't figured out that Frenzo State doesn't exist. He is in training, so we should give him a break. Placing bets from his phone on the beach in Florida indicates that he's getting closer to being a professional fake guru. Jacob, he lost his job. Jacob answer. If you ever wanted a voyeur into an influencer desperate to pay rent, this is your chance. Guap get his partner here is named Haitian Fresh and has a big following on Instagram. Seriously, this dude has a blue check mark and 1 million followers on Instagram. He claims to be a mogul CEO. He has Fresh in his name and claims to be a CEO. If he lived in Miami, I'd be asking if he was joining the other loser fake fresh CEO on a scandalous podcast. Yo, what's up, Jake? What's up? What's up? Yo, yo. What's up, homie? Bro, what? Fresh, you can't tell me that. You, you're joking. Haitian Fresh was telling young Jacob that putting CEO in your Instagram bio is a hack to get people to think you're successful. Haitian Fresh is probably asking for $500 to promote this fake guru scheme, which is why young Jacob was confused. He needed to make sure his wife picked up the money on the road after he threw it out of the Honda so he could afford it. Walk it, I'm here with my boy Haitian Fresh. How you doing, my man? What's up, what's up, man? Hey, everybody, I just want to say something, man. Two guys and a camera making a video to earn some money in a cheap hotel room. Don't worry, this will stay PG. I've touched a lot of money in my life, man, but I swear to you, I've never ever made the easiest $20,000 in my life thanks to this guy right here, That's damn right. AlgaVision. There needs to be a warning sign on social media. Desperate influencers collabing with discount fake gurus means you will be signing up for a scam. AlgaVision, I'm getting that on my forehead. Guys, can you please point to the body part that's missing in your fan base? I don't know what would be a worse sponsorship deal for Haitian Fresh's brand, a sports betting system, or a diet plan. Why do I feel like I'm about to be shown a magic trick involving whatever it is on Haitian Fresh's head being pulled out of a hat? I promise you, as soon as I make my first 20 million, that shit's going right here. The dumbest tattoo of 2021 will either be Tyron Woodley getting a Jake Paul tattoo or Haitian Fresh getting Alga Vision on his forehead. At least with Tyron Woodley, the check clears. And hey, that's gonna be in a few months, I promise you. Bro, thank you, man. He promises to make $20 million in a couple months while standing next to a guy who looks like he's knocking on your door trying to sell Boy Scout cookies. Yeah. Got you I swear. anytime. Alga Vision, baby. We're gonna get that tattoo together. Let's get it, I'm Sorry. ready. We should make a wager with them. They have to get a tattoo of our choosing on their forehead if the little scheme they're promoting loses us money over six months. We'll get to see how confident they really are. Fall for that tattoo. Let's go, baby. 20 million tattoo on my forehead. Ah. 
Haitian Fresh was ready to run out of that hotel room immediately after fulfilling his requirements. I don't want to be mean, but you have to be pretty desperate to agree to promote some third tier gambling system with a young kid who calls himself Guap Gitta in a hotel room. What do you think he got paid to do this, 500 bucks? Guap Gitta put all of his money into the wrap on his Honda, so I know he wasn't able to afford the Mr. Organic level on the fake gurus who will promote gambling list. Hey guys, this TikTok is to show you guys that you can actually make consistent money by gambling every single day. Let me show you how. Young Jacob here claims to be a professional sports better. He might not know anything about sports betting, but he's going to help you get enough cash to flash on TikTok. If you look right there, I had $1,776 in my account. What's funny is that he waits until he loses a good chunk in order to make this scheme look more profitable. It's a little blurry, but he was at one point at about $4,000 just two or three days before. So he was down 56% in just a couple days. And this was one month ago. If we look further, about a week and a half, you can see that I then had $5,000 in my account. My assumption is he started with $5,000 given the history of the picks. If he started with more, then he's hiding the truth from you. I paused the screen here so we can see the win-loss record of these picks. By my count, he's won 10 bets and lost 14. He shows a few of his daily wagers, and many of them are heavy money line favorites, so the fact that they are winning only 10 out of 24 bets is alarming. If he does happen to be up, it's temporary. Strategy that that I use to gamble every single day on these sports picks has been used for the past 20 plus years to make profit over that entire time. I did a little digging to see what kind of system we're talking about here. Jacob swears that they're legit and help him make $1,000 a day. If they've been beating the books for 20 years, then they're certainly an established brand in the industry, right? The history of the technology that powers AlgaVision goes all the way back to 1971. The father of one of AlgaVision's founding partners was a well-respected accounting executive working for various prestigious Midwest firms. This is the story of AlgaVision on YouTube. If a company resorts to stock footage for the entire video on their story and how they got founded, let's just say I'm a little skeptical, but let's hear more. While pursuing a successful career in accounting, finance, and investments, he began working on a project that would make stock market picks using only mathematics. This entire video reads like a fiction novel. The owner of this company allegedly began writing an algorithm for beating the stock market 47 years ago. After years of research, it was determined that the stock market had too many unpredictable and unverifiable variables for the mathematical system to work. Apparently, the stock market had too many variables to consider, so they decided to transition into sports betting, a market that has even more variables. You're losing me, AlgaVision. I gotta see something a little more believable. Surprisingly, it was found that sports competition worked perfectly. There is no ambiguity in the numbers of sports. We are a minute and a half into the video and they have yet to show one image or video that isn't stock. My belief in this system is pretty low right now. Let's see if they can convince me. The algorithm was designed to evaluate 30 to 50 individual data points for each team. At this point, I'm pretty convinced that anyone selling you an algorithm to beat an efficient market is scamming. I haven't seen one work yet because any algorithm that's publicly accessible for a small monthly fee doesn't work. Come on folks, how much would you charge if you wrote an algorithm to win at sports betting? The system looks for games in which the probability of a win is significantly higher for one team over another. When the system finds such heavily unmatched competition, it recommends a wager. No one has ever seen the algorithm, but you just have to blindly trust it. The only way someone signs up for this is if they are blinded by the money. If you guys wanna learn how to make money like this every single day, listen up because I'm about to tell you guys exactly how I do it. I make anywhere from 500 to $2,000 a day being a professional gambler, and I bet on sports like football, baseball, and basketball. Newsflash, Florida man seen driving a casino-themed wrapped Honda crashes into light pole while stack of cash blinded his eyes. If you ever wondered where the ridiculous Florida man headlines come from, here's where it originates. Unfortunately, just after completing the system, the creator unexpectedly passed away. The founder of AlgaVision was just three years old at the time. If you haven't figured out this is all fiction by now, that last line was hopefully the turning point. This is like a superhero movie where the kid is born into a trust fund driven by some magical betting algorithm. He went on to a successful career in professional hockey and coaching. I found the LLC here with the owner being Timothy J. Frick, who has no history of being a hockey player or coach. Completely unaware of the system his father had created. No one knew about the system. 
It was an undiscovered gold mine that remained in his father's office until the late 1990s. Would you rather be a trust fund baby or a secret magical algorithm locked in your dad's office baby? At that time, the founder's mother had passed away and he and his wife traveled back to his hometown to settle her affairs. While going through all of his father's papers from 25 years earlier, they discovered the system. Since we're in the holiday season, what better present to receive than going through a filing system at your old pop's home and stumbling across a winning gambling formula? This is as much of a fairy tale as Santa Claus delivering a car from his sleigh. During this part of the presentation, we are told that the algorithm was written on paper. Somehow the owners of this company were able to begin betting online while being guided by this algorithm that hadn't been updated in 20 years. I'm still undecided on the least believable part of this fairy tale. As time went on, they figured out the intricacies of the sports gaming universe and began to understand the algorithm. Once they got all the details of the system figured out, they began to win and win consistently. The first thing someone does after finding a winning, profitable formula for beating the casinos is by going public with it and selling the system for $49 a month, apparently. What's up, guys? My name is Guap Gitta, also known as Jacob, and you're probably not going to believe me when I tell you this, but I guarantee it's true. I've been living off nothing but gambling for almost an entire year now. I want to teach you guys how to gamble as if it's investing and start collecting extra money every single day. Jacob gambles online but somehow ends up with cash in his hand. It's almost like he's trying to overcompensate his losing system with cash money because all he needs is a spreadsheet showing wins and losses to evaluate if it's a real winner. After a few years of wagering online, they decided to make the bold move to Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas, but I'm starting to notice that a lot of my videos feature a scammer that is tied to this city. Like any other gambler, I'd love to challenge AlgaVision to a coin flipping contest to see if my coin flips could beat their system. With a winning algorithm and an efficient computer program, they began to win big. Jacob claims to be a pro sports better, but all he does is bet the AlgaVision picks. All he's missing to reach level three of Fake Guru is paying someone to create a sports gambling course for him. My second tip is don't sweat the losses. When you lose, it's gonna happen. You can't win every single time. If you have a winning system, the algorithm is gonna take care of you and make you that profit over time. This discount Fake Guru doesn't even bet his own picks. He signed up for an alleged winning system and he gets paid an affiliate commission when people sign up. He claims to be a professional sports better but just uses someone else's picks. That brings us to today, where the 47-year-old algorithm is still generating triple-digit returns to those individuals fortunate enough to be invited and participate in the program. Triple digit returns by paying a monthly fee of $49 to be spoon fed picks that win at an astonishing rate, all from an algorithm that was created 50 years ago and left in a filing cabinet for his son to find. If anyone is looking for a ghostwriter for a fiction novel, their scriptwriter is the play. The only thing this story is missing from all the other scams I've covered is that they never claim that they're doing this to change the world. That's a strike against their company. You have to throw in the fact that you're doing this to help people and change the world if you want to reach the highest prestige in the scam community. So we just finished up doing my daily slots because I'm pretty addicted to gambling and today we won pretty big. There is no winning strategy with slots, it's a negative EV casino game. In the pursuit of being a professional sports gambler, I worry that our buddy Jacob here is going to go broke playing casino games. Since Jacob doesn't sell his own picks yet, he's a discount fake guru because you can get access to the flashy cash lifestyle all for $49 a month through AlgaVision. If Jacob is able to get enough people to sign up, then maybe he'll be able to upgrade the influencer promoting on his TikTok from Haitian Fresh to someone with a little better acting skills. I submitted a request on AlgaVision's website asking for their historical data because they claim to keep records for all of their picks. I'd love to see their records, but my guess is they won't ever send it. What happens with betting services like this one is they will probably pick around 50% such that you are losing money long term, but it's such a small amount that you aren't able to notice that you're losing. That's why the only thing that matters is a verifiable spreadsheet with historical results. As long as Jacob has a couple grand, he can continue using the same cash for all of his TikToks, trying to get people to sign up to his affiliate system or convince people he's a professional gambler. And I went from working in the Publix Deli to making cash like this every single month off gambling. 
People don't want to believe me, but follow me on TikTok. It's a proper Florida man story with this hero's journey to professional gambler stardom, beginning with employment at a Publix deli. Just like his deli job at Publix, he's going to find out the hard way what happens when you lose your client's bread. With sports gambling becoming legalized across the country, we're going to see professional sports bettors pop up every single day. If you want to gamble, just put the money in an index fund and pretend like you don't have it. In 30 years, you'll have a retirement fund, while sports gamblers looking for the next cheat code will be left with regret. Thanks for watching.